Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India morning uh, let us continue the discussion on fuel estimation that is we are trying to find out uh, to be more precise we are trying to estimate roughly how much will be wf by w not that is fuel fraction and we have agreed and understood this is primarily decided by the mission the aircraft is supposed to complete right for example if i take a simple mission where this part is warm up and take off climb then cruise loiter then landing right today we will just go back to some basic understanding for the cruise and loiter, whatever we have studied in air, airplane performance, we will revise that so that that will help us in getting an idea how to estimate WF by W naught for mission as a range or mission as a loiter. Mission as a range means how many kilometers, mission as a loiter, how many seconds or hour going to be in air. Right. So, let us revisit range and endurance for two type of aircraft. One is propeller driven, let us say IC engine based and there is jet driven. The basic question would be if I am using a propeller driven aircraft then to complete a particular range or to be in air for a particular time, how much fuel will be consumed? Similar question will ask if I am flying the machine using a jet driven engine, how much fuel it will consume for meeting a particular range requirement and particular endurance or loiter requirement. Right? We want to go back to this airplane performance as a revision so that we can really use it for designing our aircraft. As I have been always saying, whatever you have understood in airplane performance, when you want to apply it into design, you will find we do a subtle different interpretation in terms of implementation. So, that I can, we can synthesize those understanding easily and keep your mind open on that and you see how beautifully people have helped us in creating such understanding. So, if I uh, recall what was the definition of range or what is the definition of range, when I talk about range it means the ground distance the airplane will cover for a given tank full of fuel. So, range is the distance covered for a tank full of fuel and endurance it is the time stay in air again for a given tank of fuel. This is the basic definition we all understand. Now, we will first talk about quickly we go by the propeller driven aircraft and you know that when you have analyzed propeller driven aircraft, we talked about SFC that is a specific fuel consumption, right. This is a specific fuel consumption. 
and how do we define that? This was the in FPS pounds of fuel per unit horsepower or but unit power and we in FPS we may use horsepower and per unit time maybe hour. This is inconsistent unit. But the understanding is how much fuel, what is the weight of the fuel, how much means weight of the fuel here consumed per unit power per unit time. So, if you want to be consistent, it is Newton of fuel consumed per watt second. That is SFC and it is relevant for IC engine driven propeller airplane. Right? So, now if I write W naught is equal to W 1 plus W F it is very clear what is W naught? W naught is the gross weight. What is W 1? All the weight except the fuel weight. Right? Then I can write W F dot is minus C into P. What is C here? This S F C by notation we will use let us see which we have used there also. Since it is W F dot rate of change of fuel consumed as per the definition W F dot can be expressed as minus C into P. What is this P? P is the power, power where? That should be very clear if this is here this fuel reaction going on and you are getting some power at the brake shaft is rotating. So, this P is this P because the fuel has consumed to give a P at the brake, but how much power you are going to utilize is decided by the moment you put a propeller and then you say power available is neta times P that is this P was available at the brake because of fuel reaction, combustion etcetera and power available for the machine is decided by how efficient is the propeller and that is propeller efficiency neta into power available at the brake. So, this is the power available, this is ok, nothing new I am telling. So, what I can do now, I can write C is equal to W F dot by P and D W F will be equal to C P D T because D W by D T is minus C P the from here I am writing like this. If I am looking for endurance, the endurance will be 0 to E D T and from this I can write this is 0 to E D W F minus sign by C into P. And when I write here 0 to E, since this integral is over W, so what I have to do? It started with W naught and the fuel was consumed, it becomes W 1. So, this part is the definition of E and we should be very, very clear that this P is the power available at the brake. This P is not equal to power available. So, this P is actually is equal to power available by neta. This you should not forget, this is extremely important. So, we know this is the definition of E. So, let me erase this. Let me write E is equal to now, W 1 to W naught I have absorbed minus sign D W by C P. Similarly, for range we also derive an expression like this. How do I visualize range? This range means I am talking about the range when it is completing cruise flight level unaccelerated flight. That means, the airplane is moving with constant speed. So, I can write D S is equal to V infinity into D T that is the distance travel in time d t moving with a constant speed v infinity. So, I can write d s equal to minus 
V infinity. For dt, earlier we have derived expression, I will write W naught to W 1 D W by C P. Let us have a look here. I am writing E is equal to W 1 to W naught D W by C P and you know that D W F is basically D W because the change in the weight of the airplane is primarily and in fact for all the purpose in this uh, derivation we have assumed it is because of change in the fuel. The change in the weight is because of change in the fuel weight only. Right? So, that is why dW has been substituted for dWf. Right? So, here ds equal v infinity dt for dt we have put this. So, this becomes your expression for the range because I have now done the integration. So, from 0 to r this becomes your expression for range which I will write it somewhere here, so that we can refer it equal to 0 or w naught to w 1. So, again I will change the order because minus sign is there. So, w 1 to w naught v infinity d w by c p that is all these two expressions. So, these are the basic expression for endurance and range fundamentally and do not forget we are talking about level unaccelerated cruise flight. Okay. From there if you recall we have breakweight range and endurance equation. So, if I talk about range equation since it is cruise in the P available is equal to P required that is power available equal to power required and this will be equal to D into V infinity and you know power at the brake is can be written as power available by Nita because you know power available is Nita times power at the brake. So, I am just writing it like this. If I substitute this suitably, what I will get in the range equation? I will be a little faster in this. I assume that you have done all these things. So, V infinity d w by c for p, for p to be p available by nita. So, p available is power, p available is power required, which is d into v infinity. So, I will write here d into v infinity and nita will go in the top. Right? Power p is p available by nita and p available is power required equal to d v infinity that exactly I have substituted there. Now, further I can modify this as nita by c v infinity then l by d to d w by w v infinity will go, you could see from here and here it will cut. Now, you will ask me how this has happened. I am sure you know what was the step followed here. This is since this gentleman got cancelled v infinity. We have nita by c and what we did we write d w by w. So, we multiply and divide it by w and what I have done divided by w multiply by w. So, the expression remains the same and since it is a cruise flight lift equal to w. So, I can easily write at w 1 to w naught nita by c l by d d w by w that is the exact expression. This is for the range do not forget this we have done it for propeller driven machine aircraft right. If we go further, what sort of expression we will get? We will get range is equal to nita by c l by d ln w naught by w 1. What are the assumption here? Assumption is that nita is not changing, c is not changing, l by d remaining constant. 
So, if I take this thing out of the integral, I get an approximate expression as range as neta by c l by d l n w naught by w 1. Please understand we have assumed l by d to be constant, but you understand also that as I am cruising the weight will go on reducing. As weight goes on reducing the lift requirement will change. So, l by d will not remain constant, but what is the designer perspective? We are saying we are aware of this, we are assuming the change in weight is not large. Okay, which is not a bad assumption. So, this is range expression. So, what is the message? If you want to get maximum range, you need to fly at such that C L by C D is maximum or L by D is maximum or typically C L should be C D naught by K. These are very clear to you in performance we have been doing it repeatedly, but this is for propeller driven airplane, propeller. Now, let us see what happens to the endurance. Endurance if I start endurance by definition it was W 1 to W naught d w by c into p. So, let me do this that then I will explain W 1 to W naught neta by c d w by p is d v infinity because I hope you understand this the p is what p available equal to power required equal to neta times p. So, this p is power required by neta and power required is d into v infinity so d into v infinity by neta that I have substituted here and neta on the numerator. This is the expression for endurance, right. Again I can do that little bit of manipulation or rearrangement and I can write it as neta by c l by d d w by w and 1 by v infinity. And again, if I assume neta constant, c constant, l by d constant, then I can get an expression for E as neta by c into l by d 1 by v infinity ln w naught by w 1. This is where I want your attention. Okay. So, let us have a relook on the last step. If we see the expression for E, if I follow the procedure, it comes to W1 to W0 neta by C L by D, then 1 by V infinity into DW by W. If you go to your airplane performance notes, you see what was the next step done was we wrote V infinity equal to 2 W by S rho C L and that is substituted here. So, then we got a condition that C L 3 by 2 by C D should be maximum for E max for a propeller driven airplane. Is this clear? In our performance course we have done so, V infinity, we replace V infinity by 2 W by S rho C L. So, if I put it here, so under root C L will be here, here this is also C L by C D. So, you get C L 3 by 2 by C D and to maximize E, understanding was C L 3 by 2 by C D should be maximum, right. But from designer's perspective, now see how beautifully it will be handled. We will say, we understand that for getting E maximum, which is for the loiter case, C L 3 by 2 by C D should be maximum or the airplane to be flown such a way, C L 3 by 2 by C D should be maximum. So, now uh, we uh, make a different way of interpreting this result. We know C L 3 by 2 by C D maximum means 
particular CL, that is CL is 3 CD naught by K. Right? So, how do I interpret this result in terms of L by D? I said that if I want E max, I should fly at a speed V such that L by D corresponds to, to the case where C L 3 by 2 by C D is maximum. Here L by D is not maximum. What we are saying? For a propeller driven airplane, if I want the endurance at a given speed V, I should fly at an L by D such that C L 3 by 2 by C D is maximum. Right? For getting maximum range, I should fly at a speed such that L by D is maximum. But here we are not flying at L by D is maximum. We are flying at an L by D which corresponds to C L 3 by 2 by C D is maximum. That should be the understanding, right? Thank you very much.